Love them or hate them, Funko NFTs are here to stay. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. I'm glad you're there, Sai. You get the right time. We got an all time line. Funko's hot toys and chomp don't mind. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it all, we are together. Yes. So I hate to break the news to you, but Funko is going hard with NFTs these days. They're going hard in the paint. Don't ask me what that means because I don't f***ing know. But Waka Flocka said it, so I figure he knows what he's talking about. You're way more gangster than I ever knew. Funko has now focused a lot of time and energy on NFTs. This isn't something that I really expected personally. I thought they were going to start doing NFT stuff and then people would react poorly to it and then Funko would just stop like they wouldn't do it anymore well when people started buying them all up and selling out every time funko dropped these things i guess funko realized we're in the money what are you doing this is this is doing money you're doing your whole hand I that's don't know money how you do that well, well you're doing this? this like that's not you do this no, you're doing this that's a month that's where you put money right that's where you put the monies you're that's... doing too many fingers what are you what are i don't understand what are you you're doing? just do, you're just doing do it slow-mo like that? Yeah, like that. Oh, that's sort of cool. And by the way, I was able to complete the Transformer NFT set. I wasn't all into the Funko NFT thing until they finally dropped something I really wanted. Now I love Funko NFTs, and let me explain why. It was really fun to go around and hunt the NFTs that I needed, and most of the NFTs that I needed were only like 20 to 35 cents. There were a couple that were like one to two dollars, and then there was about five of them that I needed to get that were about $15 a piece. But thankfully, I was able to sell off all the things I didn't need, all my duplicates, in order to buy the things I did need. And in the end, I was able pretty much to get everything I wanted with the help of some of my friends, like our friend Danny and like our friend Brent from Instagram. So a big thanks to you guys. I appreciate it. Without your help, I wouldn't have been able to complete this as fast as I did. But the great thing about NFTs is that they're like trading cards. So you can trade them with your friends. You can buy them on a marketplace. You can sell them on a marketplace to complete the set so you can get the things that you want. Go ahead. Is this where you ruin everything? No, I just talk some sense into everybody. Okay. You said that they're like trading cards? They're very much like trading cards, yeah. No, they're not because they're f***ing digital and you can't even hold them in your hands. Okay, we get that. And trading cards you can hold in your hand. Realistically, as Funko Duh! Collector... Hey! As Funko Collector... Stupid! Hey! As Funko Collector... Hey! Okay, so Heather's right about that. When it comes to NFTs, you really don't give a sh about them unless they come with a physical Fungo Pop. Now I was able to get most of what I needed through those card packs, although I did have to use my NFT wax, not ear wax, it's digital wax. Thank it's you a currency. So much I just for want you to make sure up. you knew that. I mean if you did need ear wax. Is there, any, is there any in there? You're I clean them every night. They're always clean. You're pretty rich. What pretty do you mean rich. rich? What's that mean? Rich with earwax. I'm not rich with earwax. Wax is a currency. You got plenty of it. Did I ever tell you the story about when I was riding the bus in the third grade and this boy that was in the fourth grade, he was sitting sort of like catty corner from me and he told his friend that he never cleans his ears and he said, it's like Sesame Street in there. <laughs> Sesame Street? What's that mean? <laughs> Oh. How do we end up doing this? Well, how do we get here? How do we get here? We always end up doing something that's gross. If it's not a fart, it's earwax. How do we get here? You started it. Normally I farted it, but you started it. Oh my it. God. Can we just get back to what we're talking about? They're really expensive. There's really low odds that you're actually going to get anything good. And then you have to sell and trade all of your sh stuff for 20 to 30 cents a piece, maybe a dollar if you're lucky, to get good stuff and then spend more money to actually get the good stuff. Unless you spend $260 to start like Chris did with the Transformers NFTs. However, if you get a Legendary or a Grail, they are very, very limited and they are worth more money right off the bat than your average Funko Pop. Bingo! But you still can't touch the cards. Heather is right about everything that she just said. It is really hard to get the high-end items. Also, you have to collect all of the uncommon, the commons, the rares, and the epics in order to get the Freddy Funko of that set. And that's really tough because that means you have to scour Atomic Hub or wherever you purchase your NFTs in order to find all the little pieces that you need to make up the entire map of all the NFTs for that set. 
Heather's also right by saying that NFTs are nothing but just a little graphic. They're just little graphics that you have on your phone or your computer or wherever. And that does suck, but I don't really care about that. Getting these high-end ones is really, really cool. And as Heather mentioned, if you get the high-end ones, typically you can make your money back and more. If you don't want it. But if you do want it, well, then it's going to sit on your shelf one day once you redeem it and the months pass and then you finally get it in your hands. Right. Now, let's get back into why Funko is doing the whole NFT thing we to begin with. We had to borrow our neighbor's electricity to turn the camera and the lights on because we don't have any because Chris spent all our money on NFTs. We have a really long, really, really long extension cord connected to another really long extension cord yeah. plugged into our neighbor's living room. Yeah, and we can't even afford Taco Bell anymore. That says a lot about a person when you can't afford Taco Bell anymore. Well, at least we're not our brains out anymore. That's cool. But hey, NFTs are great. Okay, so Funko is super into the NFT game because when they make Funko Pops like the Glow in the Dark Deku, they're making like 15,000 of these figures. 15,000. That's a lot of figures. That's not confirmed. We're just guessing. But from the time it takes a lot of these figures to sell out, we would imagine that that many or sometimes more are produced. Absolutely. Funko typically makes a large amount of each figure, unless they're limited. And it used to be where con pops were much more limited than they are now, but now they seem abundant. Every time you walk into a Hot Topic on release day, there's like an entire like pyramid a huge pyramid of Funko Pops. And if each store has that many, then just imagine how many they made. The good thing about NFTs for Funko is that the cost of them is probably a heck of a lot lower to make than actual physical products. And on top of that, they're making money whether you get a physical product or not. A lot of money. NFTs are non-fungible tokens, by the way. So the actual fungible part is a very, very, very small amount. Depending on how how many NFTs Funko releases during a drop, they can make upwards of a half a million dollars off of NFTs. Now you have to factor in the licensing that goes into that. You also have to factor in the amount of figures that they have to make, but that's one really important thing about all this. They don't make that many figures. And on top of that, you don't have to rent warehouse space. You don't have to hire people to ship that many Funko Pops out, 15,000 Funko Pops out. You're only paying a certain few people to ship out the very small amount of Funko Pops that are related to these NFTs. But there are Funko Pops that are not redeemed through the NFT system. Speaking of redeemable Funko Pops, Funko Pop News actually just posted a photo showing the actual number of redeemed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle NFT Funko Pops. Token sent are the amount of tokens that were actually sent to people's wallets so they could use them to redeem them. So just to be clear, the amount stated on tokens sent is the amount of actual redeemable NFTs from packs that were actually open? Yes. Okay, got it. Total redeemed is literally the amount that were redeemed, the amount of physical Funko Pops they actually made. So for the TMNT Freddy Funko, the max amount was 2,162. That's the total amount that could have actually been out there in the public. The token sent 1,232. So that's 1,232 people that collected all of the NFTs to get this redeemable. And then total redeemed out of that 1,232 is 1,183. So if you subtract those numbers, that's the amount of people who didn't redeem this Funko Pop by the time they were supposed to. That means that 49 people did not redeem their redeemables by the redeem date. I just said redeem a lot. I know. This tells me that people maybe didn't understand what they were doing because this was the first outing and people might not have understood what they had to do in order to get the redeemable. Which is really sad. It is sad because those people missed out and when you don't redeem them, that means they're just an NFT now and they're worth like nothing. The Leonardo Grail figure had a max amount of 999, token sent 970, total redeemed 910. That's 60 pops not redeemed. The Shredder Legendary was 1467 max amount, 1223 token sent, and 1124 total redeemed. So that's 99 people that didn't. 99 people that missed out on Shredder. Casey Jones Legendary had 1467 max amount, 1252 token sent, 
and 1,146 were redeemed. 106 people did not redeem theirs. Wow. That's because he looks like a lump of coal, and nobody wants a lump of coal from Santa Claus. I wonder if that's why people didn't redeem it. Maybe partially because they didn't like it? Yeah, but if they spent money on it, they I should know, just it's weird. redeem it. Because doesn't Funko send them to you for free? Yes. And they I'm ship them and everything free. 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 Because you... Paid, paid everything, the, yeah. And then the Bebop Legendary, the max amount of it was 1,467. 1,246 tokens were sent, and only 1,166 were redeemed. That's 80 that were not redeemed. The Casey Jones Legendary Pop is the one that was the least redeemed. The most people did not redeem theirs. The one that doesn't shock me is the the weird Freddy Funko one. Yeah, I know. I didn't <laughs> like that. We think it takes a long time for that physical Funko Pop to hit your doorstep because Funko doesn't actually start making the Funko Pop until we, the Redeemers, redeem those physical Funko NFTs. So the Transformer physical Funko Pops probably won't be here for months. That's okay. You buy hot toys and they take a lot longer. It's true. But one thing I have noticed is that people are very reluctant to get into the whole Funko NFT thing. Well, I can tell you exactly why. Why? Because there's a very very low chance of getting a redeemable because it's new and scary and things that we don't know about. True. It's complicated because you need to learn how to like get on there and create an account and then you need to learn how to buy the the wax. Yeah, you buy wax. Well, you can buy wax sometimes if you wanted to buy more stuff and you didn't have enough wax to make your purchases. But if you sell things and make wax, you can use that wax to buy other things on Atomic yeah, this Marketplace. this is why people don't want to buy NFTs. It's actually not that bad. If all of your NFTs end up on the Drop app, digital.funko.com, you can make your Drop account there. Once you have them all there, you can transfer them to a wax wallet. And when you transfer them to your wax wallet, you can then do all sorts of things with them like putting them on Atomic Marketplace to make your money, buying things on Atomic Marketplace. There's a lot to do there. And I'm just starting to really learn how to do all this stuff. And in fact, because I love Transformers so much, it allowed me to get a little bit more educated in this whole NFT thing. Good. Something needs to drop to make a lot more people get involved. Blacklight Marvel, maybe even DC Funko Pops, Star Wars. And I'm noticing more and more people with every drop that occurs are trying to learn and get involved. You are like making people want to do this, which means that once they come out with Marvel, you got a lot more competition. I'm going to have a lot more competition, but that's okay because that's why we're here as a YouTube channel. We're telling you what trends are popular. And although you might see all of your friends talking shit, about this particular trend. And I, us! Well, sometimes us. You'll notice that when these physical Funko Pops come out, the entire landscape is going to change. People that are TMNT fans that collect all TMNT but didn't get involved in NFT because it's stupid. Or scary! Will quickly want to start buying these physical Funko Pops from the TMNT NFT drop. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of price tag they carry. Yeah, because on the Atomic Marketplace, or is that where you buy the pop? Yeah. It is? Yes. I got it right? You got it nice. right. Good for you. You're oh, learning wait. NFTs. Was that your earwax hand? I didn't touch. I didn't go all the way. I didn't go deep. You ever accidentally taste your earwax? No. Never? never? Not even once? No. I did once. Ew. It's horrible. Why doesn't that surprise me? It's the worst. How have you gone your whole life and never accidentally tasted your earwax? It's the How most bitter taste ever. How have you wanted to taste I did, your I didn't earwax. want to taste my earwax. It accidentally happened. How and did I it accidentally happen? Because I was cleaning out my ear. And then and I was- And then you in, accidentally put it in your mouth? No, I forgot. And then I was picking my teeth or something or biting my fingernail and I tasted it. I was like, oh, you're telling me you've never done that before? I don't put my hands in my mouth. Okay. Well, we're two different people. Yes, we are. Clearly. The trends that you see with the redeemable Funko Pops on that Atomic, Atomic Hub? Marketplace. Atomic Marketplace. They go up and they're like this constantly. When these physical Funko Pops finally hit the market, they're going to be super popular and a lot of TMNT fans are going to be spending a lot of money to get their hands on them. And if you're a TMNT fan and you're saying that's wrong, you are wrong. Because once we finally get them, that's when is going to go crazy. So right now is really the time to get involved in all this stuff. Just like me. I got involved in this because I really like Transformers. But once something does pop and you're interested in it, you should totally try it out. And that means you either buy one premium pack, you buy one standard pack, just to see what it's all about. I love the social interaction with all this stuff. I found myself talking to a lot of people, a lot of friends, and a lot of viewers about their experiences with selling, buying, and trading NFT. And I learned a lot along the way. I always thought that they were kind of dumb and we talked a lot of trash here. 
here, especially when it didn't come out my way. With physical Funko Pops that have such a limited number, it is going to be really hard to get. But that's sort of the beauty of it, and that's where the gamble part comes in. You're gambling your money, you don't know if you're gonna get what you want. If you go back and watch our Transformers video where I bought those NFTs, you'll see I go through a lot of packs where I didn't get anything, and that day could have been brutal. But it all turned out okay, because I'm a tf for mom. I've been telling you that since 86. I TF with the best of them. Did I ever tell you that? TFing. I just sweat a little bit. I was TFing a little hard. I'm sorry. I get very pumped over TFing. I love pumping and TFing. Okay. Who knows what you're going to get when you open those card packs. It could be something great or it could be something super, super common and worth two pennies. I literally have NFTs that are worth like two pennies. So give it a try. If something pops up and it looks interesting to you, there are physical Funko Pops you want from a particular set, I highly recommend that you at least give it a shot and see what it's all about. Because it is really fun. It's a gamble, but it's really fun. And as we mentioned at the beginning of this video, Funko is all in with NFTs. You can tell because Funko Shop has completely, completely gone under. There's really nothing cool going on over at Funko Shop. It used to be weekly, we get something super, super cool, something limited. That's not happening anymore. We did get a Freddy Funko Halloween soda recently. We got some TMNT black light sodas, which were great, but they restocked them. And we also got a Deku that glowed in the dark, but they restocked him as well. Over on NFT land, they're doing all sorts of crazy sh you know what I was thinking about yesterday? About how very recently they updated that Funko Shop sticker where it used to say limited edition and now it doesn't. And it's almost like they're overproducing things, but now they're putting the limited stuff in with the NFTs. Yes, it seems like all the limited focus is really on sodas and also on these NFT redeemables. Yeah, but shouldn't that be telling Funko something that people like the limits and that they'll be kept more relevant if they make more limited items? They think going into the direction of NFTs is the way to go. That's cool, but they're overproducing the pops that they're actually making. Because all they care about, the limited sodas and the limited NFT Funko Pops. Well, they That's make where their heads those at. things. That's where their head's at, Heather. It really sucks because I loved that Funko Shop drop where you had the limited item or something super cool, and we don't have that anymore, so now we have to turn to sodas and NFTs. And although I'm starting to warm up to NFTs, I don't think that's the greatest thing ever. It kind of bums me out. But the real question is, what do you think about all this? That's what we want to know. Let us know all that and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons for Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to I'm Funko Jeff, Mr. E. Gomez, Jeff and Angela Harvey, Joshua G, Michael Petrino, John Bailey, Joseph Mayfield, Brian, Fanatic Hat, and Stars and Stones. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons for Patreon. You guys rock. Head over to 7BucksPop.com every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. That's when they do their big pop drops. You don't want to miss out on that. And also, head over to 7BucksPop to buy your pop shield armors to protect your grails. Those things are absolutely amazing. Head over to 7BucksPop.com. All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we are together. Yes, we'll catch you next time. Bye.